Warning. This novel contains no vampires. Also, no characters who sparkle. I just had to get that out there. The subtitle of Curveball is The Year I Lost My Grip because it's about this one year that's completely tumultuous. It's freshman year. You meet this girl you fall in love with. Your grandpa's losing it. You've lost your ability to play a sport. Your best friend seems to be kind of fading away from you all of a sudden. Peter, the main character, has a baseball injury that makes him question his whole identity. But I hope that my readers realize your core identity isn't what you do. It's who you are. Peter meets and kind of falls in love at first sight with this very strong, very spunky female character named Angelica. Peter and Angelica spend a lot of time together pursuing a common interest of photography. So they have things to talk about and they have real things to talk about. And what I love about Angelica is that she doesn't take it when guys act like idiots. Even the guy she's in love with. Because you know what? I'm a guy. We all act like idiots at some point. It's a sad reality of teenage and grown-up life that guys act like idiots. But you don't have to take it. Peter's grandfather in the book is a huge inspiration for him. I think the reason why your grandparents are so super important is because you're battling with your parents about every little boundary dispute you have that your grandparents become kind of your port in the storm. They say that the hardest single skill in sports is to hit a curveball. And I think what I would like my readers to take away from reading the book Curveball is that the hardest thing in life to do is to hit that curveball life throws at you. My writing shows my firmest belief, which is that love and humor are the strength that gets you through when life does throw you those sad parts.